Hey guys, and welcome to my. Hey guys, and welcome to Agrarian Skies. Not as Agrarian Skies as we said in uh, the Skyden episode, because that was, I blame Traff for that. He put that word into my head. It's Agrarian Skies without any S's in the Agrarian part. So, with that out of the way, I'm Jerry. That's Traff to my. Uh, I guess my left, your right. Hello. And we're gonna play this Skyblock esque survival. Uh, mod pack, map. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun with the Skyden, so we're looking forward to this. We had a lot Quite of fun with Skyden, although Skyden was getting really old because it's an old version of Minecraft, you know. But Yay. um, <laughs> one six four. <laughs> one six four. We can click and drag <laughs> stuff. Yay! Also, Yay. we're gonna do something completely unique with this thing. Uh, that's totally not ripped off of the Oxcast. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Up there, in the in. Oh, <laughs> um, we are gonna basically split this episode uh, series between our two channels. We'll both have a playlist which contains all the episodes. You can just click that to watch the entire thing. Uh, Trap's gonna get blown up. Um, ah. but we'll be splitting the uh, the videos between our two channels so that you know because it's something we do together. So we kind of want to introduce the series to both of our viewer bases. So with that out of the way, let us begin. Traff, yeah. kick us off. Alright, so we start out with this strong box, which had a bunch of quest books in it. We also got all these books from the different mods that you start out uh Mariculture, Tinkers, yeah, whatever, open box. You know, you know the difference. Um some kind of blood magic potion thing that gives us flight for two minutes forty seconds. That'd be useful. Yeah, and we have eight swigs of it, so I guess you can drink of it from it eight times. Wow. That's that's quite a bit. But uh let's look at this quest book. Oh, I didn't read it. Do you hear it? <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't hear it. Uh, do you have to click it to start, or...? It has been oh, there we go. Oh, oh, click to play again. It has been a horrible ten years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world, eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk Vizwi and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The Great Trio cast their spell to protect you, while the Magician Way of Flowing Time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One, and the Cute One have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch tree. Yeah. So, apparently we have to repopulate the world, Jerry. Yeah, and we have to <laughs> gather all the fluids necessary for it. <laughs> Alright, so, first things click first. Here, click here to start. <laughs> Learning the sky block. Zero percent completed. You've currently died zero times. Click here for more info. So, ah, well, it's your worth, your total. That doesn't really help it much. What is all this? Uh, can oh, I Oh, these are back? all people that have been on the in the pack, I guess, when it was designed, maybe? Yeah, I think it's like sort of... But you can't, like, go back once you click there. That's kind of... You're currently not in the party. Click to open party window. No party invites. Party name. Let's call it high stakes, because that's how we used to be. Create party. How we are. Um... Party list? Player name, Traff, 98000, invite player. Where do I find this at? So, uh, open the book and then click on the party. Oh, there we uh, go. Yeah! The right. Oh, this is interesting, yeah. Live settings, shared lives. Yes, we want shared lives. Do we? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we don't want any one of us to just kind of fall out of the series. <laughs> Multiple rewards. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. That, I think that's what'll give us each one of it. It'll be like last time. Yeah, exactly. Alright, All right, so we're in a party now. Sweet! Partied up. Now. Excellent. We're in a party with two players. Excellent. Quest 143 
34 quests in total. Oh, uh, 11 under quests. <laughs> 11 quests available for completion. Water hoarding, go with the flow. How many chapters rides. are there? There's nine chapters. So, learning to scatlock, I guess. Uh, alas, alas, all has been lost. So You are the sole survivor of this devastating tragedy. Now it's up to you. Rebuild the world and create a new community which can flourish once again, starting with only this little sky block created by Omnipotent. Goddesses. It doesn't the say jaded one and... Uh, there, there's uh, a, a scroll, scroll bar. There's a scroll bar. Goddesses, the jaded one and the cute one who chose to abandon you after the final act of mercy. Those bitches. Now, uh, nothing more than a block. Nothing, a book. Uh, a book. I can't read it. It's book. so small. This book, filled with quests to start on your journey, you must first get a grasp of the basics of survival in this brand new world. Open. Oh, look at the fancy. Using uh, the book. It's like Mistcraft. <laughs> or not Mistcraft. The book Craft. is a new invention from WSWE, Scott Wars, Scott Wars, and Lord Dusk. You may be wondering how to use this book. On the off chance that you have no idea what you're doing, um, this very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First off, if you right click on any page, you will go back to the previous one. All right, that's good. I needed to know that. <laughs> if a quest is stuck, it is locked, and you will need to complete one or more quests to unlock the quest. If the first menu of this book, you should have you, in the first menu of this book, you should have noticed several numbered stairs of quests, some of which are locked. You will have to complete diff uh, quests found in a different set to unlock new sets of quests. There are two types of tasks and two ways to submit quests for completion. First type of quest is the crafting quest. This will uh, tell you to craft a specific item or, or block. Once you craft a required item, the quest uh, in the crafting grid, the book will update the quest completion. All right. So right now we have a quest to craft a wooden plank. Okay. But um, have we ever been told to like you know fly up to the block? I kind of want to see what's uh, upstairs. Yeah. Do you want to fly? Well, we kind of need one. I think like this is. Surely this is not the sky block because we have a lot of resources here we can use. Or a lot of space at the very least. There's also a creeper. I punched him off. Fly! No, he's still out there. Okay. There's so, a spider on the roof. Is this the the agrarian sky sky block or oh. Damn. No, it's actually it fell off. slightly bigger. Oh, there's a lot of lava underneath. <laughs> Or, like, is it here we live, which is really dangerous, or do we live somewhere else? Uh, I see a land over here, Jerry, to the north. Let's go see what's over there. Like, I'm, I'm just kind of wondering if we've missed something since we... What's this? There is a it's land a... with a, a house on over here. It's not loading. There we go. Now it's loaded. Is right. this where we're supposed to live? I don't know. Again, this is a, a lot to start with. Hello. There's a rain muffler. <laughs> yes. This this looks like. Uh, oh, this is sort of a, a ba This is the starting kit. Yeah. Okay. So this is the starting kit with all the items that we have. Well, so is this is this island then the one that we we have or? This is made out of clay. This entire island is made out of clay. Except for that dirt block right there. Except for that one dirt block. That one single dirt block. Okay, so I actually think this is where we're supposed to be living. Okay. Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah. I can't really... For whatever reason, it's not loading. It, over in that direction, there's another one. I'm on far. I can't see it. I don't know. Anyway, so I think we just need a... Uh, oh God, I'm actually flying. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm just quickly flying over here to see if this, this is exactly the same. A bone meal. I think this is kind of the same, so you could potentially do a competitive thing. Ah, uh, okay. Although this, uh, this one here, kind of, um, it's the layout is a bit different. It's not quite exactly the same. Okay. There's also there's uh, the, like the doors in the corner and such, but there's a, gotta... a, there's an identical set of things, and there's also monsters over here. <laughs> I'm coming back. Okay. Alright, so I have some saplings and some bone meal, so should we grow some saplings? Uh, you mean grow some trees? Well, I'm just yeah. I'm just kind of coming back to you now. Hi. We have a lot of water as well. Yeah, we have one of each bone... Uh, one of each uh, sapling. 
Hold vanilla sap. Do, we, do we, we have a, we have a jungle, jungle one or? Um. No, we don't. No. Other than the jungle, we have a spruce. Uh, so we have eight bits of flint. We have an extra set of books because why not? And I have sixty-four uh, bone meal on me. Um, we have a hopper, which I guess is interesting. I think we we might need that at one point. Uh, this trough, uh, the potion flask, do we have? Should yeah. we toss those over the side? Uh, no, because you're gonna need it to get back to the island to turn in stuff. Yeah, but like, what so if we, we fall out? You could just kind of take a swig of it and you we'll know just... save ourselves. Put it in there. Yeah. All right. Put it in there for now. All right. So I guess I'll just grow this tree. So I guess this is a brand new version of a growing sky. So yeah, Punch tree yeah, good wood. Achievement. <laughs> Getting wood. We have wood. Ow! For Sorry. fuck's sake! Sorry. I didn't even hit you. I didn't. Well, I did hit you, but I wasn't you, you even hit, aiming you at hit you. Me. I wasn't even looking at you. You knocked me back very far, you bastard. All right. All so right. I have planks. Oh, there we go. Planks. I unlocked it. So we can hand in the first quest now, I guess. Um. Then the we... sky block open, and then click the using the book claim reward. Oh, there we go. Apple and pick of splintered dreams. And a little a little noise. Yeah. The librarian. Uh, book binder. I like this book, by the way. Or this pick, I mean. Pick uh, let's see, rather than keep them in separate inventory slots, you can go into a book binder. Any book in a book binder can be accessed by right clicking it from inside the GUI. Uh, so there's a. That's a quest we can do. And there's the manual submit button. Second type of quest is the consume quest. You will not get the items back after turning them in, they vanish into the stomach of the giant void monster, thereby preventing him from eating you alive. Consume quests can be completed by collecting the items required and clicking the manual submit button at the bottom right book under the quest requirements. Alright, so manual submit. There we go, claim reward. Quest delivery system. And another little sound. Did you get that as well? Yeah. Apparently, you can start the quest, but I have to click claim reward. Yeah, like no. uh, like we only have to complete the quest once, but you get each of us gets a reward. Uh, so QDS, quest? you can do that. We have a quest. This okay. Uh, QDS. Final way of turning in quest is the quest delivery system. This block will require you to send items through a hopper or duct attached to the block. AE buses can also send. AE buses can also send items to the delivery system. Before you send items to the system, you will need the key to the system to the quest. That, that was actually how it was spelled. Do so by selecting the Select Quest button in the lower right of the task page. Then right-click the quest delivery system with a block. And you will see... With the book. With the book. It still looks like a block to me. The book, and you should see a message in chat saying the quest has been assigned to the system. Now place the, the hopper even, on top of the block, and place the requested items in the hopper. The QDS will void all extra items not needed for the quest completion. This is the only way to turn in quests that, re that require fluids. You will need to use ducks to put the fluids into the delivery system. You can also have multiple QDS assigned to different mods. Part of this system is the ability to earn extra lives. You can combine heart pieces into full hearts, right clicking with a heart will add one life to your total. Alright. So you use the hopper for the starter quest to submit a plank through the QDS system, then click the second task that pops up to the left, no help given, and give the hopper back. Alright, so, so if you come inside, uh, these. No, I no, understand no, what it wants us to do, but they put it in a very confusing way. Yeah. So here's the quest delivery system, and it's we can blank. put the hopper on top. Yes. Then we take the quest book, click on the QDS, click select task, and then right click. And there we go. Palaxia, the QDS, feed the QDS. So I bound the QDS to the QDS. That's excellent. I put in a plank, and it's now blank again. Uh. And no help given. So, do I get the reward, or... 
I don't have a claim reward button. Select task. Uh, then click the second task that pops up to the left, no help given. Oh, there. Ah! So, select task. Okay. Uh, and then... Right click again. No help given. Wait a minute. One can also. Oh, maybe maybe I shouldn't have put the hopper up here. Yeah, again. I think you need the hopper. <laughs> also, what's with the mushroom kick? Uh, that's I don't know. <laughs> Manual submit. Same reward. Uh, the hopper disappeared. I have the hopper apparently. No, I don't have the hopper. Although it says we have one. Somebody has one. Well, you you you, oh, you claim, claim reward. reward. There we go. But we don't have a hopper anymore. Did it? So could... I guess that's a way to get rid of the hopper because you're not supposed to have it. Uh... So why why is this quest delivery system still bound then? There we go. There we go. So we got this heart thing that we can right click and add it to our total. There we go. Yeah. We have six hearts now. Yay! Yay! And I have a reward back. So I'm gonna open mine. Let's see here. Morvi decor reward. So I have I I just got three stacks of uh, locks. Of I got, kind. I got bees, Jerry. <laughs> nice, very nice. Two, I got a steadfast princess, pristine, and a steadfast drone. I'm also, I'm assuming also pristine. So, we, so we no longer have a hopper, so we can't actually hand anything in with the quest delivery system. Uh, we'll see if that yet. affects us. Uh, but okay. yeah, I have uh, three stacks of locks: rosewood, purple heart, and emeralds. So they're all like wood with the um, purple or red interiors. Yeah. Cool. I'll... That one you're holding in your hand is really weird looking. Yeah. That got a gravel texture on the outside. So I'm gonna eat this apple that I have. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, did you notice it says up in the top right what we are at the yeah. moment? Like, help food wise? It's kinda hiding behind the minimap. Do we wanna move the minimap maybe? Uh. Uh. Let's see, location. Top, top left. Actually, no, because you got Thumbcraft too on this thing, don't we? Oh. The bottom yeah. right? Bottom right is where the bottom. Formcraft research points pop up. Uh, <laughs> bottom left is chat bar, but I think, well, we don't, we don't, we don't have a wand yet, so let's just keep it in the top left. Uh, the wheel of the map goes round and round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I found a new sapling down there. Um, so, uh, if we look in the quest book, what's the next thing we need to do to progress? I like our, I like this uh, pick, by the way, Jerry. This, in the beginning. It... Well, that's new. You may have noticed that you have very little to start with. Almost no land, no food. But hey, you have a floor. Be thankful for that much. Now it is up to you to rebuild the entire planet or as much as you can before dying. To start with, I suggest growing some trees. Oaks will supply you with apples and the saplings, leaves and string you will be turning into dirt. Place three barrels outside where the rain can fall into. Place the other two under cover to create a compost area. Once you have eight bare saplings, place them in the barrel to compost into dirt. You can compose leaves, rotten meat, apples, weed, and string. Use none of items to look up the recipes. And then there's a task uh, ca called Carpenter's Shop, where we have to make a full set of uh, tinker, st tinker stuff, uh, some oak barrels, and a crook. Crook. <laughs> crook. Wait a minute, so it says it'll supply with saplings, leaves, and string? String, yeah. Um, Why is the... Well, I think... Let, let's start out with making first crafting table and then crafting station here. And then yeah. put this right here. Then I'm going to make a chest next to it. Um, this is a pro tip I've learned. So if you yes. right-click the crafting station now... Yeah, you can see everything that's in the chest. Yeah, and, and just cr drag it in. All right. So we can put all the wood that I got here in the chest. So let's keep this sort of a, as a bag, a bag of wood. Okay. Um, now, could you grow up the next tree there? Yeah, I still have 62 bone meal, so... Yeah. There we go. Let's get this one down, and then hopefully we can, you know, make the, the remaining Tinkers stuff. So, what else do we need for the quest? We need, um, part builder, tool station, stencil table. Alright, so, stencil, sticks... There we go. 
blank pattern and then blank pattern on top of a crafting table. Uh, oops, there we go. Their tool station. We now have a tool station. I have uh, particle effect, I think, because I'm starving. Oh, beautiful. Uh, let's see. We also need. What, what was it again? We need a part builder. What's the part builder again? <sighs> Ow, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> part builder recipe. Uh, okay, a block of log with a stencil on or a pattern on top. There we go. Part builder. Then we need a. What else do we need? We need a stencil table, yes. Jerry. <laughs> what? I have slowness and mining fatigue. How hungry are you? Uh, two. Two corn dogs. I'm at five and a half. How are you using food so quickly? I'm a dwarf. I eat a lot. I need a lot of food. Do you have any more good? Um, I just grew another one. Yeah, I have two pieces. Yeah. Could you talk that to me then we can do the rest? Or the next? Takes forever to break wood. <laughs> My slow dwarven fists. There we go. Let's see. Another two of these. I wonder how one. we get more dirt. Like if it'll give us more dirt or if we'll just get it out of Dental the bag table. of rewards uh, or something. We can craft it. it. It did say something about composting uh, stuff for dirt. And the, the quest I just read. Right, here you go. Have some, have some logs. Yeah, so now we need to make a barrel and a crook. Now, barrel and... How do you make a barrel? Uh, I'm more interested in the crook, really. Just because barrel? it sounds funny. So, a crook is made with an iron helmet, or... A, no, it's actually a stick, but, you know, nature above. It's, <laughs> <laughs> the barrel is six planks and a slab. It's like a cauldron. All right, Trav. Design. Here, grab a, grab a crook. And go punch some leaves with it. Really? Yeah. That's what you do with it, I think. Um, sure. it, should, it should give you a larger chance to get saplings, I think. Um, oh, apple. Yes. Yeah, here, have another one. And then finally oh, we need a barrel. Let's apples. see, recipe for a barrel. The apples really do not heal you that Oops. much. No, they give you half a half a shank. Half so a there shank. are better barrels, of course, from Jappa, and there are the oak barrels. So that's six planks and a slab. All right. Yep, that's, that's what I just that, said. That's <laughs> I can vaguely see the lava from the uh, quest turn-in area over there. So we they, the the quest said to put a barrel on the inside, and then so, uh, one outside as well. Did it actually say that? Yeah, it actually did. So I'm gonna. Oh put wait, one up so there. put the put the barrel outside for what? Does it collect water? It collects water. It yeah. It collects water wait. when it rains. Can we turn this in now? Uh, we should be able to. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've, I've crafted it all. Uh, uh, so we have to pick one. Um, if I go for the pan of destiny, can you take the axe of despair, maybe? Uh, I got the axe. I got the pen. Nice. <laughs> and a little noise. Do 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 do. And quarter of a heart. By the way, have you noticed the uh, extended uh GUI around these tools, these Tinker's Construct tools? Yeah. Like you can see like what it, everything yeah. is. Yeah, and how much experience and what what not they have. Skill level clumsy. The axe has got oh, yeah. a manulium tool rod in it. With a wooden axe head. Nice. <laughs> and the pan looks like iron, but I'm assuming it's also wood. Yeah. Or was but, it but actually... The thing is, <clears throat> the, thing is the, the pan is very fancy because it can actually cook every sort of food. But it, it can cook um, up to eight items at a time if you place eight items in it. Yeah. And then just feed it with one plank. You can kind of just cook an entire thing. <clears throat> it's uh... very fancy that way. But yeah, I think <clears throat> pretty much right now what we need to do is just, uh, you know... Grow up trees, um, punch the leaves with the crook. I think the crook is supposed to be... What'd you get in your uh, loot? Oh, your... I haven't opened it yet. What did you get? Sword of Splintering. Apparently it's a 1.85% chance of getting this. That's wood. It's I wood. got even more and more VT core rewards. So I have 16 purple clove stairs. What's it actually called? Moven... Purple clove... Oh. Pur pur purple clove stairs. Oh, lovely. <laughs> So I have I have a oh, almost a full set on. of wooden hold tools. On, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Very fanciful. <laughs> Very fanciful, and with that, I think we're gonna call this for yeah. now. We're gonna be we we need to grow some trees and you know get a bit of wood and that sort of thing, but that's gonna be next time.
So join us then for more agrarian skies. What are you writing? Home sweet home. Excellent. And bye. Bye.